dear students, I will continue the next method of solving a differential equation that is uh, non-homogeneous differential equation which will be reduced to the homogeneous form. I shall take another one, another uh, one or two examples then I will conclude this topic. Later we shall start uh, the exact differential equations and uh, the equation which can be reduced to the exact form. Uh, now let me continue another problem on non-homogeneous differential equation. The problem is like this. Solve dy by dx is equal to x minus y plus 3 divided by 2x minus 2y and plus 5 at x equal to 1 and y is equal to 2. This is the next situation. In the solution, this differential equation is said to be non-homogeneous. As I mentioned, it will be given in the form of m dx plus n dy equal to 0 or it will be given in the form of dy by dx. In whichever the form is given, you write according to your required convenient form, then uh, taking cross multiplication, this is dx, x minus y plus 3, it is dx equal to 2x minus 2y and plus 5, it is multiplied by dy. If I shift all the terms to one side, x minus y plus 3 this is dx and minus of it is 2x minus 2y and plus 5 it is dy that is equal to 0. I have taken all the terms to one side. Uh, this becomes minus sign. Now these two coefficients, anyway this is a non-homogeneous equation. It is non-homogeneous. ODE, non-homogeneous ODE. Why it is non-homogeneous? Because independent constant terms are there. Let x minus y plus 3 equal to 0 and minus 2x, if it is written with plus sign outside, then this becomes minus and this becomes plus and this becomes minus. When you bring that uh, minus sign inside, minus 2x plus 2y and minus 5. Then minus 2x and plus 2y, okay? minus 2x and plus 2y, this one and minus 5 equal to 0. Now, what is the verification, basic verification? A1 by A2 is equal to 1 divided by minus 2 and b1 by b2 is equal to minus 1 divided by plus 2. This is also minus 1 by 2 and this is also minus 1 by 2. Therefore, a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2. This is the case of lines or parallel lines are parallel. We write th this implies h is equal to 0 and k is equal to 0. Then uh, we need to solve this differential equation not uh, by taking h comma k because we have mentioned h equal to 0 and k is equal to 0. When both are 0, we will claim that these two lines are ge geometrical lines are parallel. Then uh, we will substitute here by taking 2 outside and uh, minus sign. Okay. So, this can be taken as x minus y, otherwise this equation can be rewritten as minus 2 into x minus y okay. and minus 5 you keep as it is, that is equal to 0. Here in the first equation, this is one equation, this is another equation. 
So, from these two equations I will select x minus y equal to t, then I will write dx taking differential that means differentiating every term in place of x I am getting it as dx, in place of y I am getting it as dy and in place of dt the differentiation is uh, sorry in place of t differentiation is dt. Then uh, after this I am going to shift uh, uh, dy in terms of that is dt and dx, what is that dx minus it is dt is equal to dy. This is the value I will replace in in second term that is coefficient that is dy. Okay. Then this differential equation comes to be this differential equation comes to be t plus 3 x minus y is equal to t this quantity I am putting it as 3 a t and plus 3 as it is and then dx as it is and plus of here minus 2 this one into t okay, because x minus y is t and minus 5 uh, right minus 5 what else? Uh, this must be replaced for dy, dy is equal to dx minus of dt that is equal to 0. Then here we noticed uh, once again as usual in the previous set of problems dx is repeated, then you take the common factors of dx this and this t plus 3 and this dx is multiplied by this quantity that is minus of 2t and minus of 5 should be multiplied by dx and minus 2t and minus 5 minus 2t minus 5 along with this minus that makes us plus sign and uh, it is dt that is equal to 0. The ultimate goal of solving this problem is to reduce the non-homogeneous to the homogeneous form. Now, otherwise directly if it uh, coincidentally if it comes to be the uh, separation of variables then you just go ahead uh, separation of variables procedure you can apply then you keep ready this step for the integration. Okay. So, now you have to do some simplification that is t minus 2t that is minus of t minus 3 uh, sorry plus 3 minus 5 minus 2 simplification this is for multiplication of dx and this is 2t uh, with plus sign it is 2t and then uh, this can be written as plus 5 this is it is dt then it is equal to 0. So, now dx is multiplied by uh, the term in the form of t and uh, dt is multiplied by in the form uh, the, the coefficient in the form of t. Now, it is ready for separating the variables. So, separating the variables means we have to remove this term from this dx coefficient. We have to retain this coefficient because this is dt and uh, we will see that uh, this coefficient will be retained there itself and that will act as denominator for this term okay. and there is a minus sign right that is t plus 2 dx plus of 2t plus 5 it is dt that is equal to 0. Then uh, what is that dx and that t plus 2 you shift to the denominator and minus of it is 2t plus 5 and divided by that is t plus 2 t plus 2 that is the coefficient along with minus sign and it is multiplied by dt this is equal to 0. Now, it is at that uh, uh, expected um, uh, rearrangement we have taken x terms in one group and t terms in another group this is the method called separation variables. Now, we will take the integration for both the terms just you can write one word integrating each term integrating each term means you need not to write with respect to which variable because this is dx it needs with respect to x only this is dt 
and it needs the integration with respect to t only, then integration of dx minus integration of 2t plus phi t plus 2 right and then it is dt that is equal to constant. Then uh, here first term anyway it is okay directly you can write, but second term you cannot integrate directly because second term is uh, the degree of t in both numerator and denominator is same, it is an improper fraction, you have to convert that into the proper fraction. How we are going to do that? That is you have to divide the denominator uh, from the denominator to the numerator t plus 2 that should be 2t right and plus 5 that is multiplied by 2 it is 2t plus 4. After subtraction this cancels and uh, subtraction from the first equation to the second one means 1. Okay. So, how much you are getting then 1 plus 1 plus uh, 2 divided by this much that is t plus t plus 2 plus 2 right. Then t plus 2 plus 2 uh, 1 this is our remainder and this is the denominator existing in the step then we can write as proper fraction this is dx and minus of integration 1 okay, plus of 2 times divided by that is t plus 2 right 1 plus of uh, uh, 2 times of that is uh, 2 times of t right then t plus 2 then dt that is equal to constant. Now, you can do the integration that is e x and minus t and uh, minus into plus minus that is 2 times right 2 times log of 2 times log of uh, uh, t plus 2 log of t plus 2 is equal to constant. So, this is what uh, the solution uh, where we are expecting in terms of a t that means newly taken symbol in terms of t. Then the same value that is x minus t minus 2 times it is x minus t minus 2 times log of it is t plus 2 is equal to constant. So, for this t is equal to what? t is equal to you have taken one value x minus y. Therefore, x minus y in place of t 2 times log of x minus y plus 2 x minus y plus 2 is equal to constant. This is the final solution, but it is uh, needed to use this given initial condition x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 2. Now, use this condition uh, x equal to 1, 1 minus 2 minus 2 times log it is 1, y is minus 2 and plus 1 that is equal to constant. Okay. Then what uh, the value remains minus 1 and this is 1 minus, 1 minus 2 means minus that becomes plus sign and minus 2, minus 2 log of uh, uh, this, this anyway becomes uh, 0 that is minus 2 times of log of 0 that is equal to constant. So, log of 0 is infinity, but infinity will not be selected because it, it is a definite value c is a constant it is a finite quantity then infinity we do not take. Then we will declare uh, this itself is a solution that means x minus of minus of x minus y minus 2 times of log of x minus y plus 2 that is equal to constant. Hence this will be the final solution for the non-homogeneous differential equation. So, with this I would like to stop the non-homogeneous differential equation. Uh, in the similar uh, fashion, you can continue the problems and uh, <coughs> verify for case 1 and case 2 along with conditions given and conditions not given. In both the cases, you can discuss. Now, let us move on to the next uh, variety of differential equation. That next variety of the differential equation is next method I can call that is that is uh, exact differential equation. 
this is another very very important method uh, exact differential equation will play the uh, major uh, role in handling so many complicated differential equations where the coefficients will explain the values of the derivatives how those derivatives are going to fall that means they are nothing but partial derivatives. So, this is method number uh, uh, 4 in the solution series method 4 exact differential equation exact ODE. Exact ODE and uh, that means exact ordinary differential equations and reducible to exact ordinary differential equations. After this we will write how we studied like uh, homogeneous and reducible to homogeneous of that type we have to study right. Mm, then uh, uh, in the method 4 exact differential equation this is uh, a very standard form of the differential equation you have to define that is the same what we have used for uh, uh, homogeneous and uh, separation of variables the same notation I am taking. So, define m x comma y dx plus n x comma y it is dy is equal to 0 this is equation number 1 is called exact differential equation provided it has to it has to satisfy one condition right define as exact ODE <coughs> as exact ODE provided provided daba m divided by daba y is equal to daba n divided by daba x this is a partial derivative this is very important uh, requirement if this is satisfied then only we will call the given differential equation is said to be exact. But how to uh, analyze all of a sudden you cannot predict uh, the from the set of problems or from the question paper that uh, will uh, try the method for solving the exact differential equation it is not like that. First you have to start from uh, uh, separation of variables next you have to start verify homogeneous if that does not work then you have to go for homogeneous if that no, does that does not work you have to verify whether it is a non homogeneous if that does not work then you come to this method because all of a sudden even for anyone it is uh, highly impossible to guess but that will come only after solving so many problems and you when you once you become perfect of immediately observe uh, uh, analyzing the problem by inspection method what is that inspection method? So, looking to the nature of the coefficients easily you can tell that means if the product is common uh, otherwise uh, one symbol is common from both the coefficients of dx and dy it is sub variable separable. If uh, pro uh, it is not common then 100 percent it is not a separation of variables. If the degrees are same it is homogeneous. If the degrees are not same and if it represents as equation of straight line a 1 x plus b 1 y plus c 1 uh, uh, and a 2 x plus b 2 y plus c 2 that is non homogeneous of case 1 and case 2. After that we will switch over to this method this is exact differential equation. Now only if this condition is going to be satisfied if this is the condition then how to solve that equation 1 then the solution is given by solution is given by m x comma dy under the integration y is constant this is there is a one theorem for this uh, the last uh, step of the theorem is result what I am writing because that theorem is not required for your uh, uh, syllabus because it is not given in your uh, uh, syllabus that theorem you have to study without this is without theorem only exact differential equation and uh, uh, reducible to exact differential equation that means even without integrating factor also only the exact differential equation you have to study. But let me share uh, 
the uh, non-exact differential equation that means one or two samples how the non-exact differential equations can be reduced to the exact differential equation one or two samples I will give then plus of here n x comma y it is dy z equal to constant but here what you are to write in the second term of integration terms this condition is important terms not containing x terms not containing x see this you understand because in your syllabus it is very clearly given next uh, part is uh, exact differential equation without integrating factor exact differential equation without integrating factor you refer the syllabus copy and in that syllabus copy Bernoulli's and exact differential equation but I am doing now exact differential equation Bernoulli's later I will do because uh, exact will uh, be the continuation of this non-homogeneous I will finish this and then immediately the next part is uh, Bernoulli's differential equation but this is the formula this is the condition this is the formula uh, any problem you take any number of problems you take these two things must be followed because you, you have to write and every problem you must write in this fashion only especially in this method that is method number 4 exact uh, ordinary differential equations if this condition is satisfied then we will go like this we will go like this means here this is y is constant because dx is there you have to treat in this coefficient y as a constant when you are integrating and in this term you have to use all that uh, 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 proper observation uh, correct observation you have to choose the term free from x that means terms not containing x if you remember uh, the meaning of uh, this sentence I, I am sure that easily you can solve the problems now based on this information I will write the problem the exact uh, differential equation problem as usual uh, solve the following ODEs solve the following ODEs first one under this heading that is exact differential equation 2x cube 2x cube minus x into y square minus 2y plus 3 right it is dx and minus of it is x square y and plus of 2x this is dy equal to 0 first condition you have to check whether it is uh, accepting this condition or not okay so now and in most of the cases here we have plus sign but here we have minus sign every problem you expect in between two terms plus sign only here minus is there take that minus sign inside and make it as plus that is 2x cube minus x into y square 2y and plus of 3 here you can write otherwise non-exact otherwise not exact if it satisfies it is exact if it is not satisfied not exact that is all ok this is dx right and plus of I will shift this minus sign inside that is x square y minus x square y and minus <coughs> 2x and it is dy equal to 0. Now this is m x comma y is equal to coefficient of dx that is nothing but 2x cube minus x into y square 2y plus 3 and uh, uh, n x comma y is equal to second coefficient 
minus of it is x square y minus of it is 2 x. Now, what is the differentiation? It is a partial differentiation. Left side it is x constant and right side y constant. This you have to keep that in your mind because uh, it is a partial derivative means there will be two symbols uh, m is also function of x comma y and n is also function of x comma y. One we will keep as variable and one more we will keep it as constant. Okay. So, now this is del m by it is del y is equal to minus of 2 x y minus 2. This is with respect to y keeping x as constant because first term is 0 and last term is 0. Then del n by it is del x minus of 2 times x y and minus 2 because here you are doing the differentiation only with respect to x keeping y as constant. Keeping y as constant means uh, uh, in the second term uh, uh, second uh, second value of uh, that is coefficient that is n x comma y. First term on right side is minus x square y is there in uh, that x square y my with minus sign you are differentiating that uh, with respect to x keeping y as constant only this symbol you have to take for differentiation that is x square gives us 2 x and uh, minus this is y that remains as it is and minus of with respect to x only because that is also admissible and uh, differentiation is minus 2. Therefore, you can make out both the values are same right both the values are same means what you are going to write del m divided by del y is equal to del n divided by del x that is the answer minus of it is 2 x y it is minus 2. Therefore, equation 1 where it is this is the problem right uh, O D E ordinary differential equation 1 is said to be exact is <coughs> said to be exact uh, differential equation. When it is said to be exact means partial values of the partial derivatives both are same then we will accept that as uh, exact differential equation. When once you declare exact differential equation you need to write the solution. Solution in this form you have to take first coefficient that is m dx and uh, treat that y as constant when you are integrating and accordingly the solution is given by solution is given by you have to write according to this uh, what value you have to select first integration of the first term that means as it is you write 2 x cube and uh, minus x into y square minus 2 y plus 3 and to, uh, with respect to x means d x, but here you are taking y as constant. You have to treat this y as constant when you are taking the integration and plus of plus of here you have to take terms not containing x in both the terms x is there then you have to write 0 into dy that is equal to constant. Okay. Now, you treat this y as constant means here we you have to integrate only with respect to x 2 times x to the power of 4 by 4 minus x square it is y square by 2 and minus of uh, with respect to x square that is d x means x square by 2 here and minus 2 is constant and y is also a constant and you are writing integration of d x is x and plus of 3 that is x this is the total uh, integration final integration of the first term. Now, second term integration of 0 because here terms free from x there is no term which is not containing x then 
this is C 1 is equal to C. Then this must be x to the power of 4 by 2 minus x square by x square y square by 2 minus 2 x y plus 3 x right and uh, this is equal to something like uh, a you can write where a is equal to c minus c 1 that is a constant. So, this is the final form of the solution for exact differential equation. Uh, similar type I will move on to the next uh, another uh, situation in the same uh, exact differential equation with some initial condition. Okay. So, that problem is like this. Solve two x minus y square plus one dx minus two x y minus y square plus two dy equal to zero and x equal to one and y is equal to two. Let us see how this behaves uh, when uh, you are going to consider the condition to be satisfied for exact differential equation. What is that condition to be satisfied? Del m by del y is equal to del n by del x. Okay. In the solution, here in between uh, two terms, here also it is minus sign is there. In the problem, it is given as minus sign. Then take this minus sign inside. That is 2 x minus y square plus 1 should be d x and minus, but outside you keep it as plus sign 2 times x y and minus into minus that is plus sign y square minus into plus minus it is 2 d y equal to 0. So, this is exactly of what type m x comma y d x plus of n x comma y dy equal to 0 that is m dx plus n dy that is equal to 0. Now, what is that uh, 2 x uh, that means m x comma y is the first coefficient n x comma y is the second coefficient uh, define otherwise choose in any manner you can write 2 x minus y square plus 1 is equal to uh, m x comma y this implies this implies del m divided by del y. Uh, you have to take uh, the first coefficient with respect to y keeping x as constant. What is the differentiation? Keeping x as constant means only one term is available. This is minus it is 2 y. Next another one is minus 2 x y plus y square minus 2 is equal to n x comma y. This implies del n divided by del x with respect to x only this is equal to minus of it is 2 y. So, when both the values that means first uh, uh, calculation responsible for del m by del y is minus 2 y and similarly another calculation gives del n by del x is equal to minus 2 y. Therefore, both the values are same that is del m divided by del y is equal to del n divided by it is del x. This is equal to what minus of it is 2 y. Minus 2 y is appeared in both the differentiations that means both the differentiations when it appears means condition is satisfied. Therefore, equation 1 where you are written this is the equation number 1 after taking minus sign inside equation 1 that means ODE ODE 1 is said to be ODE 1 is said to be exact ODE 1 is said to be exact then the solution is given by 
solution is given by integration that is the formula what is that m d x plus of n d y is equal to constant here y is constant and here uh, terms not containing x not containing x ok according to that solution I will write. Now, what is the first term 2 x minus y square plus 1 under the integral sign d x and uh, plus of plus of terms not containing x terms not containing x means this one and this one this you cannot take because x is present but here x is absent x is absent these two terms you have to make use what is that y square and minus 2 right y square minus 2 it is dy that is equal to constant that is the uh, integration formula according to the uh, according to exact differential equation so uh, first term we will uh, integrate uh, by taking uh, y as uh, temporarily constant then this must give 2 x square by 2 and minus of y square x plus x and y cube by 3 ok this term with respect to y minus 2 y is equal to constant after cancelling this 2 x square minus y square x plus x plus y cube by 3 minus 2 y right this is equal to c this is your final solution before using the given initial condition what is that initial condition this one x equal to 1 and y is equal to 2 that helps us to find out the value of the constant uh, arbitrary constant as a particular value then we will calculate how this particular value we are going to consider ok. So, what is that uh, particular value you have to directly substitute what is the value of x and what is the value of y here in this equation. So, value of x uh, you can write at x equal to 1 and y is equal to 2 then this step gives us 1 minus y equal to 2 means 2 square and uh, 1 and plus x equal to 1 and y is equal to 2 means 2 cube and divided by 3 and minus 2 into 2 that is equal to constant. You calculate now uh, the value of uh, a constant as a numerical number you know, numerical value ok what is that 1 minus 2 square that is 4 and plus 1 and this is plus 8 by 3 and minus 4 is equal to constant. So, um, 1 and 1 2 right minus 4 minus 4 minus 8 and plus of 8 by 3 ok and that is equal to constant 2 minus 8 means minus 6 and plus of 8 by 3 this is equal to constant 3 is the LCM 6 3 is a 18 with minus sign and plus of 8 is there and whole divided by 3 is there. So, minus it is 10 because minus 18 plus 8 it gives us 10 divided by 3 is equal to constant. Then your final solution will be final solution will be with the introduction of the value of c that is minus 10 divided by 3. Therefore, x square minus y square x plus x plus y cube by 3 minus 2y is equal to minus 10 by 3. This is called particular solution. This is called particular solution because there is no arbitrary constant because arbitrary constant we have calculated using the given initial condition. This initial condition helped us to calculate the value of the 
constant. I will go to another problem in the same uh, exact differential equation because more number of problems you solve in this may be another one or two I will give, but you have to practice uh, in the same uh, textbook that is uh, B S Gravel that is the uh, prescribed book for your syllabus. Uh, you can see in the syllabus copy that is B S Gravel textbook it is given serial number uh, uh, 1 itself it is the textbook and the edition they have mentioned as 43rd edition, but um, uh, latest also you can refer any gravel textbook may be 42nd edition, 44th edition those books you can refer and everywhere gravel book is available. So, that easily you can collect that book and uh, extra problems you have to add to your uh, discussion, because you do not be satisfied that mathematics uh, is uh, uh, will be understood only by uh, solving the class notes or only by uh, discussing with uh, friends only with a few problems, it is not like that. You have to go for more number of problems in each concept, so that you will become more perfect on the application of concept, because uh, you need not to uh, by heart you need not to depend on only this problem we have to understand, only this problem we have to work out and other problems we have to drop but what guarantee is there with the same notations and all that it will come. No, it is a different issue. Then you have to go for more number of examples uh, in each method at least uh, 5, 5 problems you try to practice. Now, let me take another example in terms of uh, some trigonometric function I will take. Let me check this, solve, solve y into it is secant square x plus secant x into tan x right and uh, d x plus of tan x plus 2 y it is d y equal to 0. This is with uh, trigonometric function, other uh, problems which we considered so far as uh, only the polynomial terms x and y, but this is in terms of trigonometric as well as polynomial term that is 2y is there and y is there. Okay. Now, uh, anyway in between plus sign is there this is right, so that easily you can compare uh, with the standard form that is m x comma y it is dx plus n x comma y it is d y equal to 0. What is m? m x comma y is equal to y it is secant square x plus secant x into tan x right and uh, uh, n x comma y that is equal to tan x plus of it is 2 y. Follow the uh, rule that assumption is to be checked that assumption is del m by del y is equal to del n by del x. If both are same then you will write it as exact del m by del y is equal to only with respect to y uh, keep x as constant that is secant square x right uh, with respect to y is uh, uh, differentiation is 1 and with respect to y means here no uh, term is with uh, in the form of y. So, this is the answer and del n divided by del x only with respect to x keeping y as constant this becomes 0, but this becomes secant square uh, x secant square x this is secant square x this is secant square x. Therefore, these two values are same del m by del y is equal to del n by it is del x. This implies uh, equation 1, this is 1 uh, o d e o d e 1 is exact o d e 1 is said to be exact. When once it is exact then the solution easily you can write the next step that is integration y secant square x plus of secant x tan x right it is dx and plus of integration 
terms free from x. What is the uh, term free from x from the second one? Tan x you cannot consider, but only 2y. That is 2y dy is equal to constant. Here what you are going to assume y is constant. Right? Then you need to integrate only with respect to x. That is y is constant secant square x is tan x integration plus so secant x integration it is secant integration of secant x into tan x is there. Okay? That is integration of secant x into tan x you will be writing 1 divided by that means you, you have to take uh, uh, substitution and second term may be it is secant x and tan x dx and plus of with respect to y. It is y square by 2 that is equal to constant. Okay. So, what is that? Secant means 1 by cos secant x and sin by cos right sin x divided by cos square x. Otherwise, secant x you can write as uh, uh, tan x sorry tan x as cot x 1 by cot x and then also you can integrate. But anyway, this is with arbitrary constant. You can do this integration by taking substitution of one trigonometric function and you can express in terms of another trigonometric function. So, this is what the case of uh, trigonometric function and <coughs> the integration is to be followed according to the rule whatever the exact differential equation is said. Let me write uh, the last problem in this discussion that is exact uh, differential equation one more of uh, uh, initial condition I will take. x cube minus 3 x into y square d x plus of y cube minus 3 x square y 3 x square y it is d y equal to 0 and the condition is given y 0 is equal to 1. So, y 0 is equal to 1 means y at x equal to 0 is equal to 1. You have to understand that part. Same type of steps you carry out by verifying the necessary condition. What is that necessary condition? Del m by del y is equal to del n by del x. What is that? Uh, here anyway in between these two terms plus sign is there. So, there is no change in making uh, uh, minus to plus, but is it is already appearing as plus sign. Therefore, in the solution directly you take let m is equal to that means m of x comma y is equal to x cube minus it is 3 x into y square and n it is x comma y is equal to y cube and minus of 3 times x square <coughs> y uh, this is for uh, n. Now, you write the partial derivative del m by del y only this term will happen for differentiation because this is 0 with respect to y means x is constant minus of 6 times x y del n by del x only with respect to x keeping y as constant this is 0 3 into 2 that is equal to minus 6 x into y. You will notice both the values are same then our assumption is hold good this implies del m divided by del y is equal to del n divided by it is del x. When these two values are uh, matching then we will say that the given equation that means it is a problem given equation is said to be exact that means given differential equation is exact given differential equation is exact. <coughs> then after this exact then you need to write the solution for this exact differential equation according to the step explained in exact differential equation. Then the solution then the solution is integration m x comma y it is dx that is y is constant right and plus integration n 
x comma y it is dy terms free from which symbol terms free from x right then it is equal to constant this you have to verify okay what is that m x comma y that is x cube minus 3 x y square you write as it is x cube minus 3 x into y square this is d x this is d x okay and uh, uh, here y is constant you have to treat right y is constant and plus of terms free from x terms free from x means this is the only term because this is containing x this is not containing x what is the term i have to write that is y cube and it is dy that is equal to constant what is the next step you are going to propose uh, integration with respect to x x to the power 3 is there it becomes 4 divided by 4 minus of 3 x square y square by 2 plus y to the power of 4 by 4 is equal to constant. This is uh, the solution in the general form. Why it is in the general form? Because arbitrary constant is there. Now, we need to calculate the particular value of this uh, arbitrary constant. Then, we have to make use of this given initial condition. Now, at x equal to 0 and y is equal to 1. It is given like that because it is given y at x naught, right? y at x naught is equal to y naught. It is just like this is called initial condition. So, all those values which are written inside the brackets as that is initial conditions. Then how to write it? That is anyway uh, x to the power of 4 divided by 4 minus 3 times of this and uh, wherever x is there you have to uh, replace that x by 0. Then 0 by 4 minus 3 into 0 into that is 1 square by 2 plus 1 by 4 is equal to constant. What is your final answer? Your final answer becomes c is equal to 1 divided by 4 because this is 0 because 0 divided by and this is 0 because 0 multiplied then c is equal to 1 by 4. What is your final step? x to the power of 4 divided by 4 minus 3 times it is x square y square divided by 2 plus so y to the power of 4 by 4 is equal to 1 by 4 is called particular solution. This is not general solution, this is a particular solution. What is the particular solution? Particular solution means after the calculation of the constant as a particular numerical value. So, this is your numerical value that is 1 divided by 4. When it is a particular value in the form of a numerical, then it becomes particular solution. With this, I would like to stop up to here. Uh, I shall continue my discussion for uh, non-exact differential equation, how they are going to be reduced then till that you practice these problems, you can also include uh, problems from the Gravel textbook. Thank you.